Hi, I'm David Rodriguez, owner of the Melted Craft Grilled Cheese Food Cart and the International Fine Dining Food Truck, and I'm your host today. Welcome to Car to Table. We're gonna go pick up some chefs and bring them to your house to cook dinner, so let's go. We're here at Salvatore's Tomato Pies in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin to pick up Chef Patrick DePula and take him to Chauvin and Russia's house to cook dinner. Let's get him. Patrick. Hey, David. How's it going? Going great, man. Going great. Welcome to Car to Table. It's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. And you got your stuff? Uh, yeah, I got my knife bag and a bottle of wine for Chauvin and Rush. Perfect, man. Let's go. Awesome. <sighs> First things first here, I always put it in sport mode. Nice. Most important thing. Is there any other mode? There right. shouldn't be. Not when I'm in it. <laughs> so you started out in uh, New Jersey then? I did. I grew up in New Jersey, moved to Wisconsin in 96, and I've been here ever since. Uh, you have kids? I do. I do. Sal and Joey. Sal's the namesake of the restaurant. Ah, uh, okay. Family name, been around since my great, my great grandfather. So. Uh, yeah, so Sal's the namesake of the restaurant. He's our firstborn. Sal's nine. Joey's Joey's five. Joey's five. Mm -hmm. You know, people always call the restaurant all the time, and I, I love when they do that and they say something like to whoever answers the phone. Yeah, can I talk to Sal? And they're like, <laughs> sure. Who's calling? Well, he knows me. He knows me. This is Dan. Oh my god. Oh, he does, huh? Well, he's at school right now. Yeah. <laughs> Call back around three thirty. And let me tell you, having a nine-year-old for a boss, it's terrible. <laughs> Well, I have a three-year-old for a boss, so, <laughs> and that's the truth. Uh, I can't imagine, like, really doing anything over here, mm. which, which is why it's full of chains. Far east, yes. Although I, I hear that that new uh, artisan restaurant over there. What's it called? The Outback, Outback Steakhouse. Outback. Ste I've heard great reviews. They serve kangaroo, right? Uh, the, 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 they kill it in front of you. Wallaby. <laughs> 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 Wallaby burgers? They bring it to the table and murder <laughs> it in front of you. The one thing that you're really into and vocal about, I would say, even, is working with local seasonal produce, when, certainly when possible, but... Yes. Yes. And, you know, one of the challenges always is wintertime, and we tend to have a lot of pizzas that have root vegetables on them in the wintertime. And sure. Come February, March, it's like, please, just please, yeah. I just need something that just recently came out of the <laughs> ground. I did make the mistake once in Italy of grabbing an olive off of a, a tree and eating it, and it was... Not what you expected? It was, it was absolutely horrendous, <laughs> and it, like, stained my mouth black. Well, we're here. Awesome. I think. I'm assuming that's why we stopped. Either that or I'm following the yeah. wrong person. <laughs> I hope they're home. <laughs> hey, Hello. how are you? Good, how are you? Chauvin. Chauvin. Hey. David. Hi, Chauvin. Patrick. Chauvin. Hey, Rushmi. Rushmi. Nice to meet you. Nice Rushmi, Patrick. Patrick, nice mm -hmm. to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Well, can Welcome we come in? Oh, hey, oh, Henley. Yeah, Henley. It's Doug the whole, Henley. The whole greeting Henley. committee, yeah. Patrick is going to cook you dinner tonight um, with food that's in this bag. He hasn't looked in here yet, so we're going to dig through this a little bit. Uh, but first, uh, I have a gift for you. Uh, the fine folks over at Metcast gave us something to give you, so that's, that's for you. I wanted to make sure you got that. Thank awesome. you. Yeah. Thank you. And then, uh, Patrick, if you want to look and see what we're working with. Awesome. I can't wait to see. Cilantro. Radishes, limes, mango. This isn't so bad. Sailflyer, rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> um, I, I don't think this magazine that you brought bought is appropriate. You got to use no. it. Red onion, and we've got salmon fillet and tuna. Okay. Think about it. Maybe maybe yeah. uh, a trip through the cabinets. Will... Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Let's see. What do we got first? Let's look in the fridge. Uh-huh. Half a tomato. Definitely going to use the half a tomato. Got to use the half Gotta a tomato. Got to use the half a tomato. There's some mint. Oh, it's really coming together now. You guys have a, <laughs> This is great. Curry leaves. Curry leaves. An idea is coming together. It's coming together. So I, just, seven. I can't say anything yet. Mango, <laughs> salsa, tortillas. Hmm. We have okay. gone, if that helps you cause it all. Ooh. So, Patrick, what's your next move here? I see you're, you're doing a 
Brunois on the radishes. Here. Yes, and I'm going to add these radishes in with the rhubarb okay. and a little bit of. Uh, I think we should use a little honey. And basically, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do kind of a, a tuna tartare dish as an appetizer. I'm gonna use this mint and the rhubarb and uh, some radishes. I saw some balsamic, and we'll use the the lime juice. The tuna looks nice. Yeah, and it smells good. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good because I would hope you didn't bring bad tuna. Well, mm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to you. Did, did you guys uh, fill out your uh, release of liability for us? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. All right. Today we're working with. We have some salmon and a little bit of bad tuna. <laughs> this is the old tuna and rotten mango dinner. So what are you thinking? Like this is what's going to end up going on the salmon over here. You got some mango. This, this like rhubarb mango radish relish. You're gonna cook that down? I'm not going to. No. You're gonna acidulate it. Yes. Will there be like any a fruit element of this? I'm gonna put mango in both. Actually, got it. This is I like this. It's turning into like kind of tropical. Tropical. I'm wishing for for summer basically. It's like a Hawaiian dinner. Because yeah, there's like some in Hawaii. and there's some Hawaiian oh, hot perfect. sauces over there too. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I did bring a secret ingredient though. Yeah, it's called crystal meh. And it so. just kind of started us down a whole new path. I mean, it's super smoked sea salt. One of our employees, he's in high school. His dad is, has this like sideline hobby of smoking salts now. <laughs> and uh, something about smoked bath salt. I was like, what are you talking about? Smoky bath salt? You know, that's not what that is. We're not giving you bath salts by any means. Okay, if we don't wake up tomorrow morning. <laughs> or if you wake up and you've eaten each other's yeah. faces. <laughs> Isn't that a thing? <laughs> Oops. That's not going to maybe cut. Nope. Did I like overcook this none? Or is it always like this um, crispy? Appetizer is wonderful, delicious, beautiful. Everybody's happy. Mm -hmm. It's time to start the main course. The main course. We have sort of a, a, a mango relish with radish and mint and honey and rhubarb. And we're going to um, we're going to uh, sear the we're going to sear the salmon skin side down so it'll be like crispy skin salmon. With, I still haven't quite figured out what I'm going to season the salmon with. I might want to do the curry. And then the side is going to be some roasted lemon, some roasted lemon potatoes and rosemary. If I can find some rosemary with uh, some pan fried shiitakes. Oh, no, they're not shiitakes. So pan, uh, pan fried mushrooms and asparagus. Yeah, that's, that's what we'll do. Yeah, that's the mother load of all Indian stuff. Yeah, really? this smells yeah. awesome. Both of our mom stuff is in there. We can call her mom right now and ask That's her mom. That's my mom. You want us to call her parents and ask her? I mean, it smells her. awesome. You know what? I'm going to use it. We're phoning a friend. <laughs> Lifeline. Lifeline. <laughs> Hello. We have uh, two local chefs at our house, and they're right. cooking for us with the ingredients we have at our house. And they found chai masala, and they're going to make salmon chai masala. So you have any ideas for them or thoughts about what this thing is? Because they're wondering. Mm -hmm. Oh, so chai masala has, um, it's going to have cardamom, black pepper, clove, lychee, <sighs> like and an Indian name that we some can. saffron. It's going to have, oh, and it also has a ground ginger in it. Talk to me. Skin side? Yeah, skin side. Mm -hmm. So it's going to get seared on the skin side. Yeah, we'll do it on the skin. But actually, we're going to, maybe we'll just drizzle this on the top. It's going to get drizzled on the top. <laughs> we're going to use those oranges. Where are the oranges? Mm -hmm. So this is a chai spice. This is a chai spice. With a little with orange, zest. orange zest. And then we're looking for sugar. A little sugar, I think. You're going to have the best plate, I think. <laughs> You'll have also used the most Can stuff from their kitchen. Mm. Curry, yogurt, mashed potatoes, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think that's going to work. I think it's going to make normal mashed potatoes. I think that's yes. a great idea. Yes. Are they soft? Not quite, yeah. Uh, soft enough to pan fry? Yeah. Probably. That's, let's turn it off. I just gotta do something with that asparagus and the mushrooms. If, well, we're running out of time. We gotta. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Bombins, that's good. Oops. Oh my god. Now he's breaking stuff. Because we're in a hurry. No, we're fine. Don't hurry. You're fine. We're in a hurry. No, we're not in a hurry. David's upset. I'm. David's crying. Yeah, no, it's personal issues. Here now. Where's the? The skillets. It's all the. Not warming up. No. <laughs> The skillet's warming up on the stove. Okay, don't the potatoes burn. Potatoes are ready to mash. Don't burn the butter. We've salted the salmon skin to draw the water out so that we can sear it and get a nice crispy skin. The salsa to go on top is made. Yep. It's go time, folks. Yep. I'm going to put ranch dressing in the mashed potatoes because I feel like it. Look away. Well, that's going to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
That's going to be nice. We are down to the wire. The mashed potatoes are coming together. Patrick is on point tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is done. Yeah, All right, we're ready. All right, you ready to plate? Mm -hmm. it smells good. Looks good. I think we're headed down the right path here. I hope so. Make good choices. We don't have a do-over. Right. What was your uh, inspiration for salads? Inspiration for salads? Well, I, you know, uh, my heritage, um, my grandparents' house had this huge garden in the backyard. It basically took up, like, the whole property. You know, ever since I was a kid, I've thought about, you know, using farm-to-table type things in a restaurant. Lo and behold, Sal's is born. Yeah. Well, and now here yeah. you are, mm -hmm. you know, cooking in a stranger's kitchen. Yeah, yeah. cooking in a stranger's <laughs> kitchen, yes. Well, the food's awesome. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like Sal's, for sure. Thank you so much for letting us take over your kitchen. Uh, it looks like everything is really, really beautiful. I can't wait to steal a bite off your plate. Patrick. Thank you. Amazing work. It was smells super fun. fantastic. It looks beautiful. And these guys were awesome. And they're so, awesome, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Patrick, thanks for being on the show. I know Chauvin and Rush loved it. So Awesome. It was a really good time. Perfect. Well, let's get out of here. All man. right.